On a lovely September morning, investors from the Diaspora African Conference gathered at the head office of Royal Kingdom Estate for a tour across our various developments. They met the RKA team and then we headed out for our first location, which is a land we acquired in the heart of Accra, Osu. My name is Danny Angels. Uh, welcome to the head office of Royal Kingdom Estate. This is where the, all the activities take place. This is where we brainstorm. This is where we come up with concepts, innovative concepts. Today, we are going to visit about five different sites. All that I spoke about yesterday, you will see today. We'll look at the prime areas. We'll look at developing areas who look at real estate in totality. So we'll start with this project. We will not be able to go there. It's 10 minutes away from here because they are constructing the road and it's a bit, it's called the future. 80 units, misuse. So it's coming up. We started excavation. Uh, we are due to complete in 2026. Yeah, 2026. 2026. Yeah, right. So this has been designed by in-house architects. Abraham, where are you? Come, Foster. Where's Foster? Come here, hide behind me. <laughs> so these are the two brains behind this architecture. Desmond, wow. come. This is their boss. It's called Desmond. He is the head of engineers. So you can see all of them are young boys. Not young men, young boys. That means that the future of this organization is secured. This man can give us at least 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> he can do more than that. This man, he has 40 years to give us. <laughs> He's closer to retirement. <laughs> so it means that the future of this organization is secured. We employ young people. They are all Ghanaians born here, raised here. They did some few travels here and there, but we are empowering this team. So they are small but mighty. They're able to put together this. Let's, let's just have a clap. <laughs> we will go to Osu. We've acquired and titled a land that we want to build, a building that will, will, will speak to the African Renaissance. And this architecture, we are still on the drawing board. We want to design it with an African map shape because this land is five minutes away from where Kwame Nkrumah stood and declared independence for Ghana. We like to tell a story. We like to tell a story in our real estate. We like to tell a story through real estate. So we just don't buy properties. Every property has something behind. There's one called the Black Star Village. There's one called The View and grace it. We'll go to all those places today. I won't bore you with too much explanation. Let's get going and let's see for ourselves. So we are going to come together because we want to like fractional ownership. That is a concept. So let's say we have we want to go really high. So imagine we have a project here called the African Renaissance Tower. Mm. Isn't that a beautiful name? That is a beautiful name. The African Renaissance Tower has about maybe 100 units, misuse, all the top offices, the African diaspora. Your office should be here. My brother here, your office should be here. When you come back, you should have an apartment here. It's, it's at the city center. This is the busiest street in the whole of West Africa, Osu, you can check. It's a busy, we are going to pass through the Oxford Street. That's where all the action happens. You cannot complete the history of Ghana without Osu. This is where everything 
happened in not, the 50s. Not far from one Oxford Street, right? This is Oxford Street. We are getting yeah, there, yes. Yeah, okay. The stadium is here. Look, the stadium is here. The International Conference Center is here. The Parliament House is here. The National Theater is here. And once this building goes up, you are going to overlook the ocean. Right there, the sea. All the coastal areas are here. So this is a beautiful place to invest. We are taking our time and we have laid all the foundations. That's why yesterday I was talking about land acquisition. It's your biggest headache. How would somebody come from Houston and be able to acquire this? It's difficult. So we have worked tirelessly in the last couple of years to create this opportunity, which I will call the foundation. Yeah. And now we need to build on the foundation. Right. So if you can invest, you can invest, you can invest, you can invest. We will, yes. So now when we start talking about fractional ownership, yeah. you know the leasing laws have changed from 99 to, so how does that work now if it's multiple people owning it? So you treat it, everybody as an individual. You don't put all of them together. For instance, let's say he is Ghanaian. So he, he owns for 99. Yes. But then me is 50. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to the same money. Yeah, but we have a, something called reversionary interest. Yeah. So we would have reconverted. It's going to be rolling. Okay. It's going to be rolling because as ourselves, we have to renew the lease at one point. Once we renew, you also have the opportunity to renew. And in renewal, you don't wait till a comp uh, the, the lease expires. You wait maybe about 15 years, you begin to negotiate. You get what I'm saying? Let's say I have 60 years on this property as a tenure. And then I say, I come to my, my brother, maybe he's the owner of the land. And I said, I want another 20 years. He knows he's not going to be here for the, uh, after 60 years to enjoy that 20 years. Yeah. He, he will be willing to renegotiate and then give me extra years. So those are the uh, few details that you must look at when you are seeking for renewal. Ikuya, do you have any question? I do. Oh, yeah, question and Ikuya. A A. For a moment, you were like Ikuya. Ah. <laughs> I, I understand fractional ownership, but what's really going to be appealing if we're talking about U.S. commercial um, shares, um, REITs? Like, is there any opportunity for this to be into like a real estate? fund kind of stock share program whereby you know investors can maybe put five ten something like that and kind of fund it like that or some off-plan options or is yeah. it strictly just the, the fractional ownership the, the beautiful thing about royal economics is that we are very flexible mm -hmm. in fact what you've just said you are a consultant to me in my ears it's like music <laughs> in my ears do you get what i'm saying we are very open we are very flexible we listen. One of the unprovoking reactions, and whatever the popular opinion is, we go by it. Personally, I would love off-plan options. I would say that off-taker agreement would have been the best option, where people are able to have like flexible payment of five years, six years, seven years, eight years, and then own portions of the of the unit and the office space. Great investment. You won't get it wrong here. There's no land available here. Turn around, everybody. Turn. Where is the bare land? 10. Show me a bear land okay. and I'll give you this land. No, apart from this. <laughs> <laughs> if you show me a bear land, I'll give you this one. It means that the opportunities are very what? Are very what? Very, very limited. Very scanty. So let's take the opportunity now. I was talking to my sister and I said, very soon, the story is now being written. Let's all put our name into the history book. Let's all put our name into the history book. A time will come, there'll be no option. Yeah. When we get to the decade, we are going to show you what we did over there. Some of these things were visions that were birthed when the place was a no-go area. We were able to foresee the future. And today, we drove on asphalt. I can tell you the first machine to grade a place was Zambarak in the best state. We had to even uh, go as far as uh, moving high tension poles of about 33,000 kVAs. We have to go to the ECG to be able to ensure that we are able to help align those things. So I know doing this is a system, especially in our part of Accra. But if I'm to speak about Osu, we don't have that issue here because all the water from here drains straight into the ocean. So we don't have those things here. But gradually, 
we have the opportunity to change our story. And at the decade, I'll give you a perfect example. For us, US, UK, we, we need to understand that if we are gonna invest our money in something, number one, yes, the trust is there, yes, Royal Kingdom Estate is there, but number two, what are those returns look like now? Three years, five years, how can we sell it? Yesterday, you were at a conference. Did you hear Hannah saying, talking about the returns? The ROI in Ghana? Yes. Do you remember? About it's the highest in the whole of Africa. The whole of Africa. Ghana has the highest return of investment on real estate rental, right? The highest. It was only right that we took them to see our premium apartment, The Decade, located at East Airport. This was their experience. Now, <laughs> look at this. Resilience, The Decade. Why, why are we calling The Decade? We said we like, we like to link every architecture to the right story. It took us 10 years when we bet the vision. Now it took us less than a year to build it. <laughs> January 2021 to November 2021, from the day of what? Excavation, non-stop. This place was waterlogged. Nothing like this was here. We were the only ones. We thought we were mad. You see this, this high tension post, like Desmond was saying, it was here. Yeah. We went to the ECG, we did what is called rezoning. And then we were able to push it forward. We have a compound that can what? Park cars, Airbnb, nice luxury place. So we spoke about flexibility. We also spoke about the in-house build team. Where Lisa is seated, when we initially conceived the idea, it was supposed to be the orthodox kitchen. So we had a, the door to the kitchen here. When we completed, we realized that the space was so tight. Then we decided to have an island. So this became a three in one, a bar, a dining, and what? A kitchen. Now, this is a very small land, but look at the space management. Uh, Adria, please open here for them. That's the guest washroom. And it's open. Let's go, let's go to, the, to the kitchen area. And this is on Airbnb. We have Wi-Fi, everything, 24 hour. I'm telling you, I'm thinking about this. It's not a joke. Wow. Guys, when we, yesterday, those who were, those who were at the, uh, the event, is it the, 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 the event, the presentation, right? Yeah. Yes, the panel. I said Royal Kingdom is one-stop shop. Like, this is our handiwork. Come in and see. This is our handiwork. It's fridge, It's fridge. Open it, come and open it. Open it. Come, guys. Oh. <laughs> Come. Open it, open it, open it. <laughs> open it. It's a fridge. Open this. Everything is here. Open this. Everything is here. Everything is inbuilt. Now, you're asking yourself, where are you going to wash your clothes and dry them? Right here. And it's, there's a washer, there's a dryer. There is a washer and a dryer. So you don't hang, you don't hang on it. Everything is inbuilt. You have your banner and everything. And again, we have given you some big space here as a pantry to store. So, so when we're, say, we're talking about one-stop shop, we design, so we've shown you a bare land. Did you put the artwork in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything is, even the deco. You see the deco, it was done by us. In-house deco team. Do you get it? So when we're saying one-stop shop, we, we like to talk like this, and then we exceed the expectation. That's what we like to do. And this is the handiwork of young Africans. Let's give them, let's give them a clap. Again, that's why I was telling my brother that we want to change the narrative. We are not just talking, we are implementing it for people to see. Then we'll progress and go to the next level. The future. No, the future. Hold on. The future. The future will not be an upgrade of this one. The project, the future. Certainly, we've learned a lot here. And then people like yourself will help us and we'll build something better. So we'll continue to grow, tell the story, and then we'll move forward. Let me show you something inside. It's two bedrooms. This is one of the bedrooms, the master overlooking the compound. Look at the big wardrobe. 
<laughs> when we completed it, and I like the height, I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you it's know, when we when we completed, we realized that we forgot to have the the bathroom. We said, ah, there's no bathroom, so we have to go. Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, go in, go in. Yes. <laughs> 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 so again, again, there is a reason. It's not just for beautification. It helps you manage the space. Oh, yeah. It's flat, it's straight. You don't, you know, and you still have this and huge storage. This is just Airbnb. Oh, I love it. You get what I'm saying? So this is the secondary bedroom. Again, it's subtle, it's nice, it's cute. And look at it. Look at it. This also has a wardrobe. Again, all these are handy. You didn't show them the balcony. I'll show them oh, one step at a time. <laughs> the future, which is our next project, yes. will be an upgrade on this one. It will be far, far better than wow. this. I already love so it. see the washroom no, of this I, one. I, I do, I do. I look, do. look at the design, simple, simple, nice, subtle, chill, chill relaxed. Coming to sign yeah. the deals in Ghana, just on the quick. Yeah. 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 You know, we'll we will take care. Of you. We're gonna make it. Yeah. 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 So so <laughs> so what we are saying is that <laughs> no, what we are saying is that if three years ago, if three years ago we we're able to construct this in less than a year with our own resources, what about if we have the right investors? Wow. If we have the right investment, with this tiny land, we've been able to produce this three years ago. We have become better in terms of even knowledge, Absolutely. understanding of the industry. I mean, it's pure and Airbnb standards. Yes, pure yeah, Airbnb standards. Yes. Yeah, it's and the future will far be an upgrade over this one. So African Renaissance is going to be big. It's an exciting time, guys. Let's go. <laughs> the off-plan um, off-taker agreement like we discussed, let's say at the future we are doing two beds like this. We'll come up with the prices and we'll come up with the payment terms where people like yourself can come together, partner together. And we just want to show you what we have done already. Yesterday, a lady asked a question about construction and some structural defect. And I said, look at the track record of the company you are going to. You remember I said that to the lady. Now, this is a track record. There's a rooftop swimming pool. It's not leaking mm -hmm. for over three years. It means that we've put in a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's to show you what we can do so that we can now begin to talk. So if you want us to talk, let's go to the boardroom and begin to discuss money. Up next, we made our way to our first main development, The View, located at Abokobi Hills. So you see, let me tell you one unique thing about this one. So when we were at the top, we were in Eastern region. Yeah. This place is Great Accra. So, so Great Accra shares the boundary at the top there mm -hmm. with Eastern region. Yeah. So this side of the land is in Great Accra. The other side is in Eastern region. Wow. Yes. So we gotta go take a group picture. It's a land, it's a landmark location. People are good to be waking up on early. You don't know what God has. So where is this oh place? Actually, this Abokobi. Is Abokobi. Abokobi Hills. This is Abokobi Hills. And the other side is Brekusu. Brekusu. No, yes. No, no, no. And here is Abokobi Hills. And the down is Abokobi, Ga East. Municipality. Oh, yes. So where we are is like in the, in the middle of Accra. This is the boundary between Greater Accra and Eastern Region. Yeah. Eastern Region is there, yeah. and then Greater Accra is here. It's yeah. priceless. Yeah. I've, I've been talking it's about location. Beautiful. Rule number three. There are three rules in real estate. Number one, location. Number two, location. Three, location. Georgia so we H we are always number looking at number two locations. Number three <laughs> locations. <laughs> 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 so at the end of the day, we make sure that it, I was telling Angelique and uh, Jojo that when you have a good location, yeah, fifty percent of your work as a salesperson yeah. is done. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And it's selling really, really fast. This is going to be one of the major roles within the development. We'll start with the drainage and everything. 
and then homes will be built. And then finally, we visited Black Star Village at Brekusu, close to the Ashesi University. say the Black Star Village, this is the place for what has to connect with the route. We have roads named after Dr. Kofi Annan. We have roads named after Kwame Nkrumah, Martin Luther King, Mosiah Marcus Garvey, all the major freedom fighters of Africa. That's the concept. Build nice, eco-friendly, pan-African uh, homes and live and enjoy nature. Look at, look at the view. Look at the view, it's fresh, it's lush, it's green, and this is fresh air. If you live here, you live in this community, you can grow 100 years. The reason why our forefathers were growing 100 years, 90 years, is because they were living in places like this. So wake up in the morning, wake up in the morning, enjoy nature. All you hear is, unless you, you have, you don't have a neighbor like Lisa who wake you up in the morning with her music and stuff, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> so what, what it does is that over here, there's 360 view. So when you're here, you are seeing this view. When you go to the back, it goes all the way to the back. You are seeing the whole of Eastern region. In Sawam and all that, it goes just to the back, give you the view of Kofridia, that area, Adoso and that. So it's huge. It's a huge development and um, we are ready. They are ready to hit the ground running. So guys, each and everybody here must bring an investor, must bring business. All of us must make money together. I don't know anybody here who doesn't want to make money. Let me see by hand who doesn't want to make money. You want to make money? <laughs> After the tour, we spoke to two of the lovely organizers, Lisa and Angelique, to give us an overview of their entire experience. Hello everybody, my name is Lisa Cooney, International Business Development Strategist for Intuitive Global Consultant. We had an amazing time on a tour today. We seen Osu, we went to Abri. It was just top notch customer service from the team to the questions being answered. I really left with a better understanding of un the real estate landscape. What does it look like to invest? What do the lands look like? How to really make this dream a reality? And I'm really grateful for the Royal Kingdom Estate team for being able to guide us through this journey. I'm Angelique Bartholomew, Principal at Intuitive Global Consulting. And we are here to share with you that Africa is developing and more importantly, Accra. We're excited to be a part of what Royal Kingdom Estates is doing and bringing the diaspora here. So if you're interested in property, in, interested in development, call Royal Kingdom Estates and join us now. It was definitely a great way to spend the day and seeing these amazing people enjoy themselves and fall in love with our developments is something we'll cherish forever. And we hope for great long-term partnerships. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it. We'll be back with more amazing information, updates and stories to share.